You guys ready to start? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. So what's this? Okay, before we start, what's the what is this function that we're looking at for number one? Integer. So we know that this is our a, right? Right here. This mm -hmm. is our a. Yeah. What's the three? Um, K. H. 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 And then this is K. K. So we all got that? Yeah. So that's what it is with any function. If it's parentheses, if it's a radical, or anything. So where's our starting point on this function? 3, three, one, one. three 1. So our starting point is 3, 1. Okay, so we're going to go to 3, and we'll go up 1, and what are we going to plot? Uh, a closed circle. circle. A closed circle. So it's always closed, line, open, right? And so we do a set of plot, we do a set of points and then we do two extra ones. Well, what's our A value? Three. three. So we have to go up three. So like so one, two, three. So then close line, open, and then one, two, three, close line, open. That's true. Any questions? All right. What were your questions, Paige? Nothing. I just I just checked Just checking? Yeah. Is everybody good? Okay. Let's go on to number two. Alright, write the equation of the function below. So first let's start off. So we have f of x, right? Equals. Alright. So let's start with this one right here. What do we do first? Find the slope. And open. Um, find the slope and you write that and then you, yeah. Find the slope and you write it. Okay, so we're basically when we're doing this, what what kind of functions are these? It's not in your pink sheet. I just want to see the piecewise functions. Yeah. Okay, so we're technically writing the line. We're writing the equation of the line, but up to a certain point, right? Yeah. Because it's wherever we say it's going to be. So what is this line? What's the equation of this line? <coughs> What's your y-intercept? <coughs> so negative three. So negative three. And then what's your slope? Uh, two. Two. So two x minus three. We got. Yes? No. Mm -hmm. This is, let's pretend this extends. Okay. What's, oh, what is that? Yes, that's, right. that's positive. But you just don't see that. So, all right, so 2x minus 3 if x is what? Um, smaller than Okay, so it's a closed circle, so it's if x is less than or equal to 3. Does everybody see how we got that? Yes, yeah. Oh, so I, oh my God. I originally thought it was positive, but I did the thing where you just like extend it, but it was positive. But like then I was thinking maybe it's negative because it's going down. But like, are you still supposed to always like just like draw it as if it was like going all the way and then something like negative? Okay, so like in terms of slope, this is part of a line, right? So if we extend this line right here, what is the slope? Is that positive or negative? Positive. That's positive, so that you can just use that to determine if your slope is going I to be just, positive. Yeah, I was just wondering if you had to do that because, like, I was thinking maybe it might be negative because it's like going down from the point. Well, no, because, like I said, this is part of a line, and technically a line is continuous in both directions, but it's still it's still going in a positive direction. Okay. Okay. Does that does that make sense? Okay. So let's do the next one. What you next what one. you really want to look at on that line is the fact that you're graphing the part of the line that's to the left of the dot which gives you your inequality sign. That tells you, like, is your, are you drawing the part of the line to the left of the dot? If so, it's less than. If you're drawing the part of the line to the right of the dot, <clears throat> then it's greater than. Yes. <laughs> I put um, negative 2 thirds x plus 4 if x is greater than 3. Okay, so she said negative, you said negative 2 thirds x, what? Plus 4. Plus four if x is greater than three. Does everybody agree with that? Does anybody have to explain that you don't agree with that? Okay, so what Angel did was she found the slope, and our slope is over two. Oh, wait. Oops, yeah, over two, down three. Right? Down three? Uh-uh. Oh, no. Oh, down I said two. two. Yeah, it's rising down. So down two, over three. My bad. So that's her slope, right? And then you, where's your y intercept? No, so you, you know your slope is negative two thirds, so then from the dot you have to continue. Yeah. So you would keep continuing down. Up right? to up to left three. So up to left three. Oops. So then this is what your line would be right here. So you have to find your y-intercept. I'm sorry, I asked you where your y-intercept was and you couldn't see it. So that's your y-intercept right there. That's where she got plus four. And then it's an open circle, right? 
So it's just going to be the greater inequality, and then it's um, greater than 3. That was a little confusing. Did everybody understand that? Greater than 3? Right here. So it's your 3. Let me erase this so you can see it. Right here, Kimo. So it's 3 right here, and it's going this way, and it's greater than. So it's just part of that line. So it's part of the line of negative 2 thirds x plus 4 that's greater than 3. So everything that's less than 3 is technically like gone. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So now on to number 3. Oh, number 3 is the easy one. So. Alright, so it says round 3.4817429 to the nearest thousands place. So how many decimal places? Three. Three. So let's see, 